Hi, this is Mandelman, and I was. I wanted to talk about wrestling for a minute, which is usually a popular thing for me, but thanks to how my radio show is set up now, I don't get near as much time to talk about it. There's a post going around the news sites that, because of how badly the fight went in WrestleMania 28, and I'm not saying that the match was bad, I'm saying that the brutality was bad. If you don't believe me, you haven't watched it, or at least not watched it recently. I just saw it a week ago. That The Undertaker may be done with WrestleMania matches, or high-profile matches. And I sincerely hope that they're right. Nothing against The Undertaker. I've loved him since he debuted. But he needs to stop. It's painful to see him in the ring. And I'm not saying I don't mark out for him. I love seeing him wrestle. But there comes a point when you can just tell by body language that somebody is hurting. They're not doing as good as they could. And with all the violence in the Hell in the Cell, it sounds like a lot of the work and the surgeries that he had had to even be able to perform at that point have since been pretty much destroyed. So now he's back to where he was God knows how many years ago. A lot of people don't seem to realize that big men don't have the shelf life. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the taller they are, the more brittle the bones are or whatnot. But they seem to get injured far, a uh, far bigger scale, especially with their legs. Uh, that's one of the things if you look at, I'm not sure about Kane. I've really not followed wrestling in so long. I don't know what Kane's thing is, but I know Diesel. I know John Gonzalez, uh, The Undertaker. They were all, uh, Andre, for his back, were all very big men. I'm sure uh, Paul Wright, The Big Show, has dealt with it too. That they just have a lot of problems with their legs and whatnot, so... I really, really hope that, you know, and they're talking about him coming back for the Royal Rumble. I don't see why he needs to come back at all. Or at least not, he doesn't need to wrestle anymore. Come on, Undertaker has got what very few people have nowadays, and that's an ability to talk. He's very good in delivering. He, sh he and Kane, he sh if he comes back, what they should do is bring him back as the ministry again, or something familiar to it. Have him be a stable leader. Have it because a lot of people say, when you get an approval by the undertaker, that means that you're that you're good. You're you've proven yourself. So, I think you can get the rub from The Undertaker without beating him, and certainly without beating the WrestleMania streak. The WrestleMania streak is 20-0. and 0. It should never have had to go this long, but it has. Let it go. 20-0 and 0 is highly respectable. There's no reason it has to go any further than that. Let him retire. All of you people who are bitching and whining, he needs to get back to the business. Maybe he does, but he doesn't have to stop it. I, it's just like a lot of people would have been perfectly fine with Goldberg if he would have gone 200 and 0 and just retired. It's like, you know what, 200 and 0, I'm the world champ, okay, that's it, bye. And who who could have ever, be, who could have matched that? As it is, now he's 100 and whatever and won. That is a record that can now be beaten. Not that 200 and 0 couldn't be beaten. But the only thing you need to do to beat him now is win 190, or I think, I don't, I don't even know. I wanted to say 196. I don't think it was that high. It was actually 100, what's it, 170 something? Well, whatever. All you have to do is get to that number plus one. And a lot of people will say, well, it's not going to happen in our lifetime. Well, no. But look at all the medical and improvements in that line. It could be that bodies are able to, in 20, 30 years, are able to do that. There'll be asterisks, of course, because of technological or, or medical improvements, but 
Still, it's going to be broken. So is 20 and 0. 20 and 0 at WrestleMania will be broken eventually. Not maybe by WrestleMania, but by top pay per view events. You know, 20, it's basically 20 years at the same event. 20 and 0. That will be broken eventually. So it doesn't matter what how high it gets. The records are meant are meant to be broken. It's just a question of how long. So I would rather, if I were Mark, I would rather have a perfect streak broken than be twenty and one and have the twenty first break it. And the twenty first is going to break it no matter what. But I think it'd be more impressive to defeat somebody that never was defeated rather than just get past the one he couldn't. Because let's be honest, if, it, if Undertaker had started when he was in his early 20s, let's say 21, he comes in, he's the Undertaker, he's accomplished everything he has. He would only be 41 right now. He could still have, if he had taken, if things had gone his way, he could still have a couple of good matches. I'm not sure what age Mark is now, but I'm pretty certain that with all the beat-ups, because let's remember, he's got all the hell in the cells, he's got the buried alive matches, he's got all sort. he's, just because of his strength, where he, his immunity to pain, he's been put in a lot of tough situations that most people would balk at. So, because of his character, he's destroyed his body. I mean, it's to the point, if you read one of them, they used to fly him to doctors. Now, because of how much pain he's in, they have to fly doctors to him. Let him go. You know, I'm, I've been watching wrestling since I was a kid. I'm 38. I've been watching wrestling, or keeping up with wrestling. I haven't watched it in years, really. But I've kept up with Lords of Pain and stuff like that. I've been keeping up with it almost all of my life. And, like I said, after seeing WrestleMania 28, he he's done. Let him go. Let him retire. Let him come back as... I wouldn't even say GM. I don't think he'd do good as that. But let him come back as an instigator. Let him come back as the man that people want to prove themselves to. Uh, closing, a uh, good thing. Jeff Hardy. If you watch the ladder match with Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy gets absolutely slaughtered. But the Undertaker, when he goes to leave, Jeff tells him to come back. He doesn't want to stop fighting. He doesn't care if he lose, he wants he wants the respect. And eventually Undertaker comes in, looks at him, raises his hand, and walks off. That's what the Undertaker can do for people now. And he doesn't need a match to do it. He could be I know a lot of people will balk at me for this. He could be like the master from the Dungeon of Doom. He could sit on his throne or he could sit in the back office or wherever he wants to be and say you want to prove it? Here's a list. Fulfill that list. It. I know a lot of people would say it would be storyline, it would be fake, but have him make up the list. I mean, he's a reasonable guy. He's not going to tell people to go, you know, bungee jump from the top of the center. He's going to ask them to improve things, improve their talking ability, work on their moves, that kind of thing set out to get, you know, so many wins or beat or beat certain class of people. I think he could do good at that. And like I said, it let him give back without having to wrestle. I think he's still got a lot left. Could be as an agent. It could be as, you know, being in the gorilla position. I just Mark, you were wonderful to watch. But please, <laughs> it hurts to watch you now. Please don't, please don't ruin yourself.